Hi staff, welcome back. I'm happy to say that we've had over 95% of our staff team called back by the time you see this video. First, I hope that you and your family are staying healthy and continue to stay healthy until a vaccination is established or until this horrible virus is behind us. I want to thank you for your dedication to the Y. Whether you're a longtime employee or a new employee, all of our staff play a critical role in delivering services to our community and to our members. March 17th came very quick, and we basically had to halt all of our operations overnight. This is very difficult for many of us, and I apologize. We didn't have time to explain the situation and ultimately the ramifications it had on US staff, the members, and the community. Since that time, we've had a very limited workforce. They've worked very hard to get us to the point we are at today. I'm happy to say that through this hard work and our dedicated volunteers, and ultimately our board of directors, our board approved the acceptance of an SBA payment protection plan forgivable loan. This loan is intended to get our staff back to work on our payroll at or above the level they were prior to the layoff. As I said, 95% of our staff are back on payroll as you read this. Now, we don't have a lot of answers and we don't even have a defined plan yet for reopening. We are in constant contact with the CDC, the state of Wisconsin, and our local county health department. We are relying on all of these external sources to help outline what our reopening plan will look like. This includes our reopening staffing plan as it relates to you. As you're probably aware, some of our staff have been working in childcare since March 17th. Some of our staff are working in the branches. Some of our staff are working from home and some of our staff are back on payroll waiting to hear how they can contribute to our reopening in person. Please be patient. There is a lot of information coming at us daily and we are working very hard to answer all of these questions. In the meantime, please stay in contact with your supervisor. I suggest that you contact them by Friday every week to understand where and what schedule they have for you. Stay safe. This means being smart about your safety. As you return to the YMCA, we need to make sure we keep each other safe, not only our staff, but our members. If you have symptoms or you're feeling ill, you need to stay home. There's no exceptions to this anymore. Most likely this virus is going to be around for a while. It is not a reflection on you if you contract it, but we cannot afford to have everyone contract it because we have to show up and serve our members. Please practice the three C's, wear a face mask, and practice social distancing, even with your coworkers. Again, I wanna say thanks and welcome back. We are so excited to have you back. I wish that I could do this in person, but in order to follow these safety guidelines, I needed to do it virtually. If you have any questions, please contact Sandy Weiland in HR or myself directly. We are happy to try to answer any questions we can at this time. Again, stay safe, and hopefully I'll get to see you soon in one of our branches. Take care.